morning guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to go through how I make my own dry shampoo which is really recent for me because I've been using my natural one that I've loved for a while but sometimes when I'm feeling a bit lazy as we all do we get those days when I just don't feel like washing my hair because it is a lot of work to keep this bad boy looking good I usually like just want to put something quick in it to keep it still looking clean but then I don't have to put so much maintenance behind it. So I started looking around for a natural dry shampoo that I could make at home and that was really easy. So something simple to whip up and I came across this awesome recipe that I'll share with you guys. Dry shampoos are also really good if you're switching to using no poo. Which I just love the word. Which would mean just using no shampoo. Or if you're switching to your own homemade natural shampoo. Just because the adjustment period when you switch from using your simple conventional ones that usually have like self-factants in them um, to using a homemade version that takes some time for your hair to adjust. It can look a bit oily for a while. I had that problem at the beginning. It just it stay, it happens for around two to three weeks then your hair suddenly adjusts and it looks clean again and you're like, thank goodness. So if you're having this problem, using a dry shampoo can help you out. Or you can try the hair detox, which I'll link in the cards above, which I do myself whenever I've had to go back to using conventional. I've gone back to, and then gone back to using natural homemade. I had to do my hair detox to let my hair adjust quicker to using the natural shampoo again. So it's really helpful. So if you guys are interested, just feel free to check that above. I'll also link it in the description below. On my hair, because I do have dark hair, I use a mix of arrowroot powder and cacao powder. But if you have blonde hair or any lighter kind of hair, you can just use arrowroot powder. But I find the bonus of using cacao powder is it just makes my hair smell like chocolate and I'm like, ah, I love it. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So what you'll need for the ingredients is a quarter cup of arrowroot powder or organic cornstarch or two tablespoons of arrowroot powder or cornstarch plus two tablespoons of cacao powder if your hair is dark like mine. You can add five drops of essential oil of your choosing. I love to use lavender so that's what I'm going to be using today. So to make the dry shampoo, put the drops of essential oil in with the cacao powder if you're using it, arrowroot or cornstarch powder and mix with a spoon. Store the mix in a small jar or old powder container. Apply to the roots or oily part of your hair and just comb the powder through your hair and style as usual. And that is it. It is that simple. I love it because it's so easy, it's all natural and it's just very convenient to use when you just don't want to go to the hassle of washing your hair all the time. So that is just a little tip from me. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any other recipes for a dry shampoo that you use, please share with me in the comments below. I love mixing up my hair routine, trying new things all the time. It's just something I like to do. So please feel free to share your recipes and other hair care routines that you guys do in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you did like this video, just be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join our tribe, feel free to subscribe down below in the corner. Otherwise, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.